Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the Hitman 3 DLC. Today is the Pride Profusion, which is going to be the season of Pride from the Seven Deadly Sins thing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cover all the redacted challenges as well, including uh, this one, the Hubris, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, the Hubris Challenge. Also, we're going to be covering the uh, Humility Challenge. And I'm going to be showing you how all, all the steps and how to do that. And also, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Ambivalence Redacted Challenge. So for level one, uh, we have a restricted loadout. Uh, we can't change our disguises, and we have to find the peacock. That is our first and foremost full objective. Can you hear me? You need to wake up. Don't listen to her. We don't need her anymore. What does she know? Sitting behind her desk, telling you what to do and not getting her hands dirty. You are much better than that. You are the Apex Predator. Celebrate your talent and impress the Peacock. Show them how it's done. Now, 47, first things first. You must find the Peacock. Not worth your time. So for this first level, uh, we have to initially find the Peacock. And it's an interesting concept of how this escalation has been uh, laid out all three levels so if each escalation going to have two choices of uh, which to which way to tackle the the particular level and uh, whether you want to do it the easy way or the hard way is up to you but you need to do uh, specific ones to make sure you can tick off these challenges so i'm going to be covering the hubris challenge first and foremost and what we need to do is actually go up to this peacock and grab the tanto sword so you'll have a choice between the explosive and the tanto sword but we need to make sure we grab all the most assassin-like weapons in all three levels the most difficult ones so the first one is going to be the tanto swords so we need to take out both targets with the tanto and we need to make sure we hide the bodies as well so even if you knock some people out you need to make sure you hide the bodies the first one is going to be on top of the the block building so it's just going to be on this roof. So we're going to come up an edge on this, along this ledge and climb the pipe. And our first target is going to be on this roof over here. He's going to be taking a cigarette break every now and then to the right. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's just trying to get my attention. But yeah, what we're going to need to do is just take out this guard right here with the Tanto. And then we're going to drag his body and hide him in the nearby crate. So it's really super easy, really, when it comes to this. Don't worry, I have to worry too much about the other guard. So we're just going to climb down here from the, the side, slide down the pipe. And we're going to go along the roof to get to the other target, because that's where he's going to be. So just over here, just going to leap over this little wall, leap over the fence. On the other side of this area is going to be a pipe, which we can climb. And all we need to do is, from this point, is just head down one flight of stairs. And that's where our target's going to be. He's going to be sitting next to another guard. So all we need to do is actually knock out the, the guard first before we take out the target. And we're actually going to do it right in front of the target. So don't worry too much about this. You're still going to get a retardant assassin rating, so don't worry too much about it. Just going to throw the soda can at the uh, guard's head. Pull out the Tanto. And then take out the guard. Preferably don't want to make sure you probably want to do it from behind rather than from the front like I did there. I don't know whether off that affects anything. But just just to be safe to make sure just do it from behind rather than on the left like I did. Let's go around the right. But once we do that, we're gonna hide all the bodies, which is what we just did there, and then we're gonna take the exit on the roof. So it's the closest exit, and it's not an easy sign assassin for level one. So it's super easy. Also, just for playing the contract, you get the uh, the two challenges complete there for the Pride Profusion, which unlocks the suit and the sniper rifle. So the confirmation of the Silent Assassin, so let's move on to level 2. So level 2, everything is primarily exactly the same. Magnificent. You've proven that you are the Apex Predator. Let's see if you can keep it up. So firstly, we have to go find the peacock. And the peacock is going to be where we was last. 
So if we're where we exited in the, on level one, that is where the uh, the peacock's going to be. We're going to grab that solo count on the left, punch in the number zero one one eight. That will get us through this door. I'm going to follow the stairs all the way up to the rooftop. There's going to be a guard on that rooftop. Uh, he's going to be standing next to a sniper rifle, so we need to be careful with that. Actually, no, level two, they removed him. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, my, my bad, my bad. But, yeah, what you want to do up here is make sure you grab the three syringes and not the sniper rifle. Grab all three syringes. That is the, uh, the harder challenge out of the two. And what we've got to do is take out all three targets with the syringe. And we're not allowed to get spotted. I'm just going to grab that fork right there. We're just grabbing a bunch of stuff along the way. I'm not necessarily going to use them. But yeah, all three targets are generally not too bad of a target. I'd say level two is probably the most difficult one out of all three levels, I think. If I would to give it, give it uh, like a, a difficulty rating. I'm just going to sneak past this guard right here. And I'm going to make sure that the camera is pointing the other way before we cross this little bridge. And once we're on here, we're going to have to peekaboo this first target to draw him out. And just make sure that no one's looking at you at the exact same point in time. And these, this um, suspicious meter, because he's so close, he's going to fill up very fast. So just keep that in mind and make sure you break the line of sight quite quickly. Let it fill up about 80% of the way, then break the line of sight. Then he will come outside. Then we need to select our antique syringe, hide behind this uh, this computer right here. Wait for him to turn and then go ahead and use the syringe on him. So we now climb this ladder and make we'll get our way up to the next floor. I'm going to punch in the code on this door right here, which is 2552. Once you're in here, there's going to be a few people in the room. Just be wary of those as you're sneaking around. Make sure that no one's looking at you as you try and get out of this area. Circle your way around. Go through here. And pull out your syringe and take out the, uh, the target. That's two out of three done. We're just going to climb down the stairs now. And make our way to our third and final target. Just going to climb over this. He's going to be on the other side of the room. He's going to be patrolling up to the, through the middle, to the left, and to the right. What I initially wanted to do here is, what I did in previous runs, is basically just peekaboo him here. However, I realized that he stands there for quite a while, so we can actually just take him out while he's just standing there. So I would advise you to do exactly the same thing. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Make sure he doesn't see you from the corner of his eye. Just take him out just like that. It's fine. And I'm going to exit the rear of the door in the back. And you just leap over the wall, and you'll be able to slide down the pipe, down to one floor. Once you're on this floor, you can go ahead and use the uh, the escape ladder at the back. And we can come into this area here. Now, we're not in a trespassing zone as well, still, so to keep that in mind, we can't just run out in front of this guard. We need to wait for him to turn around before we do that. So just got to be patient here in this section before we exit. Because we've completed all the objectives now, and it would suck if we had to uh, restart. So the uh, scooter exit is just going to be above, uh, you know, at the end of the road. And uh, there we have it. So it's a nice and easy level two, really, overall. And I think level three is not as well. I suppose you could, I don't know. You can judge for yourself, really. But I'm just going to. I'm just here to show you and I show you how to do everything. That's how you do level two. That's kind of confirmation of that silent assassin. And then we can move on. There we go. So let's move on to level three. Level three, again, everything is exactly the same. No uh, initial changes. You've proven that no task is too much of a challenge. You should be proud. Now, let's end this with a bang. So up to this point, the peacock has been very impressed with us. We've done everything that he's been asked of. So we're going to grab that crowbar from the start at level 3, and avoid that camera, and break open his door. The peacock is going to be just behind a security room, and that's where we're going to go right now, to complete our final uh, challenge. 
well, our final test for level 3 before we move on to the, the redacted challenges. We're going to make our way into this server room, use our camera on this, uh, this vent. This room is currently empty, so you don't have to worry about sneaking through here really much because there's no one in here. Grab that dongle. Make sure you pick up the fiber wire. That's the final challenge. And we're not allowed to pacify anybody, or subdue anyone, or we're not allowed to eliminate anyone else but our targets. And it's blue, it's, it's blue as if to say that they're optional, but they're not optional. Just keep that in mind. We're going to use our camera to unlock this door. And we're going to throw the crowbar at this location here just to distract our target out of here. There's a nice little locker here for us to hide in. And what we're going to do is lure him out here, use the fireball wire on him, and hide him in the locker. We're going to hide all the bodies because I wasn't sure if that was one of the secret requirements for the challenge. It may it may very well be. I doubt it, but I just wanted to put it in there just to prove that it's possible anyway. So we're going to fireball wire our target, hide him in the locker. I'm going to grab his weapon too. And we need a uh, tier 2 dongle, so we need to head back in this area. Watch out for this dude. Grab the dongle from the table. And we need to use the camera on this uh, door over here, this yellow door for level 2. And once we're in this area, we're now to go through, pass through this room. Just watch out for the dude in the room. Circle around him, crouch run. As you come through this door, just go ahead and hack this glass panel to block out the camera. I'm going to get into this room as quick as we can. I'm going to get over to this guard. Now, if you don't get this guard uh, in as fast as I have, then you don't don't worry too much. He is going to cycle back around and head back to the same location, so you can take him out with a fiber wire. You just need to be patient if you can't get here fast enough, it's just as much as I have. So you just need to be patient with that. Wait for his cycle to go back over here before attempting to fiber wire him because he's in an awkward situation awkward spot if you don't take him out in that, that location there but we're going to hide his body we're going to grab the tier 3 dongle from this uh, from the security room here we're going to grab this suppressed pistol and using the suppressed pistol we're actually going to shoot out the evidence which is going to be over here so be careful with this shot we're doing that just so we can hide the third body be careful of Imogen Royce. She's going to come up the stairs around at the three minute mark. I'm going to go ahead and hack the vent that's over here. It'll be easier for us to get downstairs without getting spotted. So we can safely pass through the vent all the way around the back and head down one floor using the, uh, the set of ladders that we have. Again, we can use our, our camera on this vent here, because we have the tier 3 dongle. Before going in, we are going to hack both panels, just so we don't get spotted, or the body doesn't get spotted. Just be careful of her positioning, though, she can turn around, we don't want to get spotted by her. That will fail your mission. I think. I don't know, because I didn't get spotted. I'm assuming so. But we're going to go her there with the fiber wire. And now, because we took out the cameras earlier, we're going to hide her body in the uh, the closet. Just need to be careful with that guard that's patrolling in that room over there. Uh, if you've got really bad timing, he will spot you doing this. So just make sure you time this right. Like if you uh, wait for him to stop moving and turning around before you drag him if you wanted to. That would might be a little bit easier for you. Cut down on the risk. Again, I'm not completely certain if this is a requirement for the... Uh, the challenge itself i doubt it you don't probably don't have to hide the bodies you probably just need to get silent assassin completing this method but we're going to take this exit again this leads out to where we ended up at the previous level so there's going to be two block guards out here and again we're just gonna to have to wait for the guards to get into the right position before we can exit this area or alternatively you can pass through here if you want to if you want to take that little risk they're going to hear that though that noise just so just be careful with that but again we're going to set the same uh, exit and which is the scooter at the end of the road and that will get us the uh the, the hubris challenge and the sonic assassin completed as well am i pronouncing that right hubris i've never used that word before So 
is the confirmation of the Hubris challenge. The proper fusion challenge completed. So we have two challenges remaining, which is the Humility and the Ambivalence challenge. So let's get a confirmation of our Silent Assassin before we move on. Okay, so that's how you do the Hubris challenge. So now I'm going to go over and show you how to do the Ambivalence challenge. So assuming that you've done everything perfectly up to level 2 and now you're on level 3. Instead of doing the uh, the strategy that I just did for level 3, we are going to take the alternative method in using the sword. So we are going to take the opposite of what the peacock wants, and that's going to disappoint him. And that's where the ambivalence comes into it, because now he has mixed feelings towards you. He expected much more of you, and you know you disappointed him. And that's where the ambivalence comes into it. So what we're going to do is not take the fiber war option. We are going to take the uh, the swashbuckler, and we are going to disappoint the peacock and complete the contract that way. So we're going to head into the server room now, use the camera to hack the vent. This is the security room that's completely empty at the moment. We're just closing these glass panels just to, just to be extra safe. There's no extra, extra specific reason. We're going to come in this room though, and we're going to turn on this photocopier. Leave that on and grab the swashbuckler. I found this funny because uh, the peacock goes on to say these are just targets, these are just four targets, just four other people. Like he completely writes them off, which I thought it was funny. But we're going to wait for him to turn that off before we take him out. And the reason why we're doing this is just to cut down on the risk. Because there is four guards and all of them are right close together. I'm not sure if you necessarily have to get Silent Assassin for this, but uh, I thought I'd do it anyway. Again, we're going to turn the photocopier back on to isolate another guard. We can only do it with two guards. We can't do it with any more than two, unfortunately. Because the guard by the front desk is the most prob uh, most problemsome. Because his body can get seen. So what we're going to do is cause a distraction for that. So we're just going to put this body in the, the locker as well. That's two. Like I said, look, if we turn it back on, it doesn't distract anybody else. So we are now have to go and take out this guard. And we can't do a melee on him, so we have to subdue him. And then I'll throw the sword at his head. And that's going to trigger a noise, because for some reason NPCs can now hear that sort of thing now. From really long ranges. So throwing things is not a good idea anymore. But there's our fourth target down worked out perfectly because he turned around and comes over to investigate the noise but what we've got to do now at this point is just pretty much just head to the exit and we just need to retrace our steps pretty much we're going to drop the sword we don't need that anymore because it's going to be an illegal item outside and we don't want that so we just need to retrace our steps now out of the building watch out for the camera as well that's spinning from left to right there's a guard on the left as well. Let's be careful with that. And now all we've got to do is head to the scooter over here. And we're done. This should get you the ambivalence challenge completed. So that'll be, I believe, four out of the five challenges completed. I think. I think we have one more after this. So the ambivalence challenge complete. There we go. And here is the confirmation of the Silent Assassin as well, which I'm not sure if you absolutely have to get Silent Assassin on that to cut it, but uh, that's what I did. So finally for Humility, what we need to do is basically restart the entire escalation from level 1. I'm going to show you a quick run all the way from level 1 all the way through to at level 3. We need to complete all three of the escalations, but only this time... We have to do it the opposite way, so we can't. We're using the alternative item this time. But don't worry, it's really easy compared to uh, the getting the Hubris challenge completed. But yeah, the whole point is to disappoint the peacock all three occasions to complete this challenge. But we are still going to get a silent assassin rating. But these are the, this is the fastest way to get through the escalation, in my opinion. Uh, we're just going to grab the explosive there, put it away. Because there's going to be an NPC up here as well that's patrolling. Because of course we still want an assassin rating. And if we set off an explosion straight away, 
their body's going to get fouled. So what we're actually going to do is wait for it to get a little bit of a distance, and then we're going to knock out both of these people right here. And the reason for that is, is we just don't want them to move. Because if you just plant an explosive, uh, they're going to walk away and tell a guard about it. So what we're going to do now for now is just knock them both out, plant the explosive like we just did there, and run straight to the exit, and then explode it on the last second, and then we're going to leave to get it, to gain ourselves the silent assassin. And the funny thing is, with this C4 explosive here, it's going to blow them both off the ledge anyway, so immediately their bodies are going to be completely hidden. So really, we could have just done this, exploded it now. It's kind of cool as well. I think it's the, I think it's cooler kill than using the Tanto sword, in my opinion. And in a lot of those situations, uh, the explosive is harder to get silent assassin rating with than the Tanto sword. So I'm not sure about that. But there we go. Look at them both falling off the map. There we go. So it's a silent assassin for level one. Really quickly and really easily done. Level two is probably the most fun out of all three of them, actually. But uh, let me just get show you a confirmation of the silent assassin. There you go. So it's really quick as well. That's a good thing. So let's get on to level two. You can now skip the uh, the cutscenes as well. The opening cutscenes, you can go skip those. You previously couldn't been able to do that on the Agreed DLC. I included them in this just in case you didn't buy the DLC yourself. And you wanted to check it out without actually paying for it, I guess. But uh, yeah. Like I said, with all these cutscenes, you can, you can skip them. Because uh, while these cutscenes are going on, the mission is actually playing in the background. So it is eating into your time. But depending on how you did the previous escalation, it's going to show. It's going to have a different reaction and a different uh, set of lines. So again, we need to head to the roof to get to where the peacock is. And this one's actually quite fun because we get to use a sniper rifle, which is the new one. It says piercing rounds. I'm going to need to do some testing on that because. It, it looks to me like it's uh, a reskin of the the Black Dragon. I think that's what it's called, the, the gun. Is it the Black Dragon or the Red Dragon? Either one. Um, but yeah, they don't have the pro pro properties of piercing rounds. But here's our four initial targets. There's one there. And one there. There's no marksman perk for this, unfortunately. Unless I'm pushing the wrong button for it, because they've changed it. This one, we're going to shoot the gas canister. Take all of them out with the explosion there. So there we go. Quick, easy uh, silent and assassin for level two. And I think that's more fun than using the the syringes, but it uh, depends on what you're going for in a game, really, I suppose. There's a quick and easy silent and assassin for level two. And finally for level 3, um, we have to use the swashbuckler again, and we need to get a silent assassin with that. I've already shown you that one, but I'm going to show you it again, uh, just to show you the challenge in that popping up for you. Let's get a confirmation of it. And again, I like the uh, the fact that the peacock says different things depending on what you do. So again, we're going to avoid the camera after picking up that crowbar. Break open the door to get inside the, the area. I just need to get over to where the peacock is. Head into the server room, hack this event. Get into this empty room right now. So this is where the guards are going to spawn once we grab the swashbuckler. Turn on the photocopier. Grab the swashbuckler. Again, we're just waiting for him to turn that off before we attack him. Attack the second guard. 
throw the sword at the third target's head. I should get him to turn around. No, it doesn't. Okay. What we're probably better off doing then is just to get him to turn around. Just to turn to the left. And then we can use the sword. There we go. The body isn't found. Like I said, when it comes to this particular challenge, I don't think you necessarily need Silent Assassin anyway. As long as you've just completed the objectives. I think that that will just that will be enough to satisfy the uh, the things the rules in unlocking the actual challenge itself. But Silent Assassin is always the the main challenge of the game. So if you're not going for Silent Assassin, of course, then that's what Hitman's all about. So we're just going to take this exit here, as we've done on pretty much every level now. I think now we have. Apart from the rooftop. And once you've scooted on out of here, you can complete all the objectives within half an hour if you know what exactly what you're doing. And that will complete your final one, the Humility Redacted Challenge. So there we go. That's all of the challenges completed for this DLC. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, pretty long video. If you did enjoy it or you learned something, drop a like on this video. It does help me a lot. Subscribe if you want to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all the future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I also want to say a big thank you to all of my Psycho Assassin members. Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedri, IGR, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake, Nico Senpai, Anas, Chris, JD, Ryan and True Gamer for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really appreciate you all. If you want to become a Psycho Assassin member yourself and get your name read out, just click the link in the description. I'll be sure to add your name to the list next month and read your name out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.